Hey, Navyot5184 here, and welcome to another reaction to Star Wars Clone Wars. We're going with Season 3, Episode 3, Supply Lines. If you are a new or returning viewer, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate everybody that takes time out of their day to watch me do these reactions. It really means a lot to me that you're here. And if you enjoy what you see, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think. All those things help the channel out greatly and I appreciate every bit of support that you give and if you'd like to give a little bit extra support feel free to join my patreon page on there you'll get full watch along videos you'll get early access to these reactions and with the watch longs you just have to make sure you have a copy of whatever it is I'm reacting to um, for yourself and I will have a timer on the screen so you can use that as a reference to where I am in the show again every bit of support is appreciated so I'm not going to lie, I really, really hope that this episode uh, will give me a little bit of a break because still, I'm still in my feels a little bit from the last episode. That one really, really hit home on a lot of areas in terms of, you know, military brotherhood. And, you know, that's something that really means a lot to me, a lot of you know like my fond memories when i'm in the military it's never really anything that i did or anything but it's you know the people you know that i was with that really made those moments special especially even in the training you know sometimes when you're just training you're not actually doing anything but sometimes the moments you have with the people that you're training with it's just things like that you know a lot of those memories really kind of started flooding back to me you know when I was going on my um, closing monologue from the last episode and it's just it's just crazy so I'm really hoping that this is gonna be an emotional break uh, and I I don't know all I know is that so far I've enjoyed every episode I've watched so far and even going in chronological order has made it that much better because it's a lot easier to flow with the story and everything and I don't feel like I'm trying to figure out what's going on who's who and everything and it's just even with the limited time it's amazing like how attached we get to some of these characters I mean who would have thought that I would have gotten emotional over watching a group of clone cadets you know just finally finish through a trial <laughs> you know that's just how great this show has been so uh, with the title of this one being Supply Lines, I have a feeling that, you know, maybe it won't be a clone heavy episode this one. Um, I did see uh, Bail Organa in the thumbnail for it, so I have a feeling that he's probably going to be pretty involved with this. But either which way, I'm ready to get started with this, so we are going to go ahead and get started. As I said before, um, a full watch along will be available on my Patreon. Just uh, head over there and use the timer on the screen as a reference to where I am in there and let's go ahead and get started I understand channel but I am in no position to help we are critically low on fuel and ammunition contact the Jedi Council again tell them reinforcements must be dispatched without delay this is not looking good already trapped on Ryloth master die and his men are Oh boy, I recognize that ship. Successful, thank you for asking. But what's the matter? You all look very somber. They just watched somebody die. We've dispatched a ship loaded with relief supplies to meet you on Toydaria. You are a more experienced diplomat than the representative from Naboo, who is already there. Representative Binks accompanied the shipment. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We're doomed. Uh oh. I have sent Senator Organa to Toydaria to negotiate a treaty which would allow them to send relief supplies to their forces on Ryloth. Oh. Don of the Trade Federation. I wish to speak with him immediately. Uh oh. Oh, this might be very bad. This might be very bad. I got a bad feeling about this. Hello! Let me sit through. Misa on a diplomatic mission. Senator Organa! It's a pleasure to be seeing you. Dude, is it him? And you, Representative Binks. Shall we? Our laws of hospitality demand that we offer assistance. 
But this planet is closed to off-worlders. We are obliged to deliver our message to your king in person. It won't take a minute. Dude, I'm blanking on his name, but is that actually him? Hello, you saw majesty. Let me it's gotta be. Okay. I'm at best. My esteemed colleague and mm -hmm. I humbly beg that you allow us to use Toydaria as a staging ground to supply the planet with relief aid. Do not make your decision in haste. Oh, I have a feeling that this episode, it setting up for the episode ambush that i saw actually that was the first one i actually reacted to but yeah this feels like the setup for that we are only here to ensure that nothing jeopardizes the agreement between toydaria and the trade federation nabu and alderaan have a long tradition of providing humanitarian aid i see no reason for conflict nor do i the people of ryloth are suffering and compassion is a sacred toydarian value that's a weird statement, considering that uh, this is clearly the same species as uh, Watu, who owns slaves on Tatooine. I must convene my ministers. Then we shall hear your arguments. Good oh, boy. Oh, that could have been worse, I guess. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. If we stay here without reinforcements, we're all going to die. Gobi, tell the people we're leaving. Yes, sir. I don't think you understand. The right plank has collapsed. There's no leaving. We're stuck here together. Oh, boy. Man, how are they going to get out of this one? The basic tenets of our morality and even our constitution demand that we help those in need. Those ideals are noble, but we must be careful that our compassion does not draw us into this war. The planet is under a separatist blockade because Jedi Knights and clone soldiers are battling the droid army for control of the surface. This will not be a humanitarian base. It will be a military base. The separatist senate will see it as a violation of your neutrality. That in turn, will expose the Trade Federation's ships to attacks from the Separatists and force us to cease trade with Toydaria. A situation desirable to no one. Do not let them suffer because war came to them. I sympathize with the plight of the Twi'leks, but this is not about saving them when they are fighting against the Separatists. You invaded them! Oh... Oh, boy. If we reconfigure the fuel system, we can turn the ship into a bomb big enough to collapse the pass here. The enemy will then only be able to engage us on one front from this ravine. While we provide cover, the Twi'leks will have time to escape with the families over the mountain. Brilliant strategy, General. I have made my decision. I am sorry, Senator Organa. But for the sake of my people, Toydaria must remain neutral. Damn it! Now what? My friends, the Twi'leks are innocent victims caught between the warring factions through no fault of their own. You may uh, use bomb. Toydaria to transfer the supplies you brought with you. That's only enough food for one, maybe two rotations. It will have to do. And you must guarantee that the Trade Federation will not be able to link Toydaria to the mission. Agreed. I have an idea. Okay, let's... I mean, granted... There's still so many questions! Formal dinners are so tedious. I'm afraid that pressing matters require me to make immediate contact with Alderaan. But I leave you in the capable hands of my colleague, Representative Binks. Capable! I assume he uses that term loosely. <laughs> Cham is still angry. He feels betrayed. We counted on the Republic assistance, and it didn't come. War turns promises into hopes. I wish it wasn't so. Tell him. I will. I mean, they tried. It's not like they didn't try. Careful. It might be full of clowns. Uh, no clowns. 
Just explosives. Explosives. Gotcha. <laughs> I love how it just hit them a bit too late. <laughs> Yes. Halt! We cannot get through. Halt! They weren't moving. Repeat. The ships are ready to launch. Oh, Jar Jar, please don't blow this. Oh, Jar Jar. Oh. Lisa proposing a conceptual work of art to honor the ambassador of Trade Federation. Ah, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, that was. Yeah, I'll take that one. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't care what anybody said. I... Jar Jar is endearing as hell. He might be annoying. He's like the Steve Urkel of Star Wars. What? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I did not expect that from Jar Jar Banks. I expected everything to go wrong with that thing. I did not know he had that in him. No! Oh man, this is not gonna end well. Uh. Couldn't have at least tried to kick that back? Dude, they're getting smoked. Uh-oh. Oh, he is not happy. If there's anything I've learned when a Jedi becomes unhappy. <laughs> oh. Captain Kitty, I'm not finished yet, sir. Yeah, you are. Well, let's make the end memorable. <laughs> No! This is Republic Blockade Runner 0909. We have broken through. The Twilights will need to fight another day. Oh! The supplies have arrived at the drop point. Oh, I was not expecting that! Oh no. Dude, but we like lost everybody. You play a dangerous game, Ordana. Next time, you will not get away with this. The Republic has heart, my friend. But I am not convinced what? it has the strength to prevail. However, after what I witnessed here today, perhaps it is time I reconsidered our neutrality. Tell the Jedi I am open to meeting with them. Master Yoda will be glad to hear it. For now, at least. All right. So this must actually, if I remember correctly, I think ambush comes after this. Oh wow! Wow! All right, y'all. That was Clone Wars season three, episode three, supply lines, and. I was too curious. I had to look it up. It was I'm at best that did Jar Jar Binks and I'm not surprised. I was like, that was just too good. There was no way it couldn't have been him. But outside of that, yeah, so that episode is definitely the one that uh, set up uh, the season one, episode one, ep uh, episode uh, ambush. Because I know they're talking about Yoda. I recognized that I thought the planet sounded familiar, um, but it just didn't click until I saw them and then it's like oh wait and then it all kind of started to click so 
obviously we know what's gonna happen from there and it looks like from there i probably already hit the next few episodes at least in terms of chronological order so um forgive me if it does seem like you know it's obviously i'm gonna be skipping because you know some of these episodes i've already reacted to the first three i did you know were not in the order but i think if i remember my list correctly i think it does go the first three episodes i did i'll have to double check but either which way nice to see the setup was not expecting to see a jedi die so soon wow i don't know why that one got me so much but man i mean they held off just long enough but whew. man I, I will say this though despite the fact that it definitely you know had its moments i think i appreciate the fact that jar jar banks was in that episode because I needed the emotional break, and I think that one gave it to me, though I'm not going to lie. He impressed me a little bit in that with, that, with his little trick with all the, you know, plateware and everything. I was expecting him to completely, you know, destroy some dishes and everything, but he kept them together. So, you know, props to Jar Jar for pulling that off, but, um, yeah, I, I am a little disappointed. I already forgot um, the race's name, but... You know, I was really hoping to see like more with them, you know, like especially here in the name Cham Sindula. I do believe, if I am not mistaken, that that's Hera's father, or at least I believe so. I could be wrong. That is, you know, obviously I know Hera from Ahsoka. I've seen her, you know, bits and pieces in the few Rebels episodes I've watched, but um, but they get. You know, and Sedula reference in the Clone Wars, you know, really, really got me excited. So that's probably the only thing I'm really disappointed with. But we're still very early in this. So it's not like it's not going to happen. It probably could. You know, it'd be nice to really see that whole journey going on. But again, another good episode. Definitely the emotional break I needed. And again, just once again. You know, just leave me like, how do they get out of this? You know, how do things work out? I should have known that something was going to go on because once I started putting together the pieces on where this, you know, lied in the timeline and everything, you knew, what, you know, what was going to happen. But again, they just do so good at kind of making you forget the story that's already there. So really got nothing else more to say so i guess i'll just leave it with the uh, suggestion that you guys just check out my other clone wars reactions if you haven't already and other star wars reactions i've done thank you all for stopping by and i will catch you all in the next episode